Do you like adding roundabouts to your city? But they always look ugly and unrealistic. And they never function. Do you want to make them function like an actual roundabout does in real life? Are you starting to get into mods, but you don't exactly know how to use them or which ones you should even use? Do you want to make realistic roads and junctions, but your computer can't hold the amount of mods and assets that it takes to do them? These are some of the things that I thought just a few years ago as I was getting into mods and trying to break away from the vanilla game. Today, I hope to show you a few tips and tricks to make an ultra realistic roundabout with only just four mods and a couple assets. You're going to go from this to this. This is Dream Scraper. Let's go. Before we begin, I do have to give a disclaimer. I do have mods currently turned on. However, I'm not going to be using them. I'm just going to be sticking to the four that I'm about to mention. I will list a few more that will certainly help you with this build. However, they're certainly not necessary. Every mod and asset that I'll be using today will be in the description below. In terms of assets, in this build, I'm only going to be using two that are from the Steam Workshop. The rest is in the base vanilla game. The codes that you're currently looking at are all from the vanilla game. I will recommend, however, if you do have more space on your computer and have a little bit more RAM that you're willing to sacrifice, I would go into the Steam Workshop and download a few more roads that pretty much match the build theme that you're trying to go for. Now, when it comes to roundabouts, there's all different types of sizes. I'm going to stick with just a two lane roundabout with one lane going in and out of the roundabout. If you guys leave in the comments that you want to see a bigger roundabout, I can certainly do that as well. For this build, you're going to need four mods. The first mod that you're going to need is Node Controller. This is going to help you build those perfect nodes and stretch them out going into the roundabout. The second mod that you're going to need is Intersection Marking Tool. This creates those cool grass islands or pavement or whatever you would like to make it look awesome. The third mod that you're going to need is Move It. Move It makes it so that you're able to select nodes or different items and assets and move them around. And last but not least, you're going to need Traffic Manager President Edition, or TMPE for short. This makes it so you have a functional roundabout. So typically, when we want to build a roundabout in a city, it's usually in an area that is pretty gridded up and gets a lot of traffic. So to begin, we're going to create the circle part of the roundabout. Grab a two unit wide road and click on the junction where you want to create the roundabout. If you do not have precision engineering like I do, don't worry, you don't need it. There are other ways of counting units. When you click on a junction with a two unit wide road like this one, in straight mode, it automatically jumps you three units with the first move. Then one unit, every move after that and move up six units and right click you can also use the zoning on the road and look how many squares it, that you've gone that's how many units you've gone so you're going to go three four five six once you get to that spot right click and then left click without moving and then for doing anything else you're going to go down to your curve row tool click on the curve row tool and then you're going to do the same thing. You're going to go out three. However, when you're using the curve tool, it does go just one unit. So one, two, three, four, five, six. You're going to right click. And then go down six units to the road and then right click. You're going to repeat this process so you get all the way back around and you make yourself a perfect circle. I like to go with six units because it is a small enough roundabout. However, it does leave space for a node between each junction point, which is very, very, very necessary in order for your traffic to switch lanes. And you're gonna see why in just a bit. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade the roundabout portion to this two lane one-way road. 
it's the vanilla road just remember if you are in a right hand traffic you're going to the right and if you're left hand traffic your circle is going to the left okay go ahead and remove these middle pieces you don't need those anymore and the first mod that we're going to go ahead and start out with is node controller and if you do not have unified ui don't worry about it you don't need it you can click here on the roads panel and you're going to see right here in the bottom left node controller okay so you're going to click on one of the uh four junctions into the roundabout and you're going to stretch it out by going here to offset and stretching it up to 20. i like 20. you can choose really whatever you prefer whatever looks aesthetically pleasing to you i think 20 is the most realistic and really just gives you the best look in the end and you're gonna do that for each one okay let's talk about which road you should use coming into the roundabout again i would suggest using networks that really match your city however specifically going into the roundabout the thing that makes probably the best looking roundabout is having a road with some form of median whether that's a road with, a, with trees in the middle or grass or pavement whatever the case i would recommend having a road with a median because that's the way that you're going to be able to really get that split in the roundabout is because there it, it's a road that already is split in the middle so i'm going to go with the two lane road with grass median it is a vanilla road and it ends up looking pretty good so generally when you see a roundabout the crosswalk isn't how it comes in the vanilla base game um first off there's not crosswalks that are going into the center of the roundabout there's no need for anyone to walk in the center of the roundabout also usually there's an island or a, a small median that separates the road so you know which lane to walk in and so usually the uh, crosswalk is set a little further back from the actual roundabout itself so let's go ahead and add that in what you're going to do is you're going to select on node controller and you're going to get as close to the junction on that median road as possible with it being green now when it's red just keep slowly backing it up until it turns green and then click and now we're going to do that for each road going into the junction now i know what you're thinking probably you clicked and the crosswalk wasn't there i have mine set up to basically when i click it's going to do a crosswalk uh however yours might not do that it might just look as if you just added a node but nothing happened and if that's the case come up here where it says middle and change it to crossing now immediately looking at this crossing you're probably saying why is there a gap in the middle of it well that's city skylines vanilla game for you right there um, I don't know why they do it that way. It looks ugly, it doesn't look real, but that's just how they do it. But don't worry because we're going to change that. Uh, where it says markings, you're just going to go ahead and take the markings off. You're going to select no. So now there's no crosswalk there and that's exactly what we want. We're going to go back in and add crosswalks with uh, the marking tool. Also, we do not need crosswalks. Now that we're going to have a crosswalk down there, we do not need crosswalks in the actual roundabout itself. So we're going to also take those out. Underneath the All tab, you're going to see Markings, and then you're going to click that little zero, and it's going to take all the markings off of the intersection. So already, I think that even without doing any detailing whatsoever, it already looks better and more realistic. Okay, so now we're going to get into our second mod which is down here, right next to node controller. And it is called intersection marking tool. Go ahead and click on it. And then click on one of these sections that you wanna have a crosswalk. What you're gonna do is you're gonna hold down shift to create a crosswalk. You're gonna click on each one, one by one, at the bottom and then at the top. And there you go. You have a pretty good realistic crosswalk what you can do is click on it go up to the top hit copy and then go to the next one 
click on it, click paste, and then click the check mark to apply. And then you can do that for each one. Now, onto the main intersection going into the roundabout. For the inter intersection marking tool, you're going to go into it. You're going to hold down Alt. By holding down Alt, you're going to be able to create a, what we call a filler. And then you're going to click on each one going from the median to the middle lane on the right to the middle lane on the left and then back down to the median. Now, here's where you have a few options for customization. Since we have a grass median, I'm going to go with grass filler. Now I know what you're thinking. It doesn't look all that great. There's no curb. Don't worry. We're going to go back in and add a curb to make it look really good. One thing that I wanted to mention is that sometimes when you create these fillers, there's a little bit of clipping that happens where the filler meets the median. And one way that you can fix that is just by raising it or lowering it a little bit in elevation, preferably raising it. You click on fillers. You go to elevation and then you just raise it by one. Usually you can do it just by one and, and it works just fine. Just like with the crosswalk, you're going to go up to the top. You're going to click copy and then we're going to go and apply it to every intersection going into the roundabout. Okay, when you go and paste it on the other intersections in the roundabout, sometimes it's going to look really cattywampus or just out of like the right formatting. So all you have to do is click turn counterclockwise or turn clockwise and it'll adjust it so you get it into the right position that you want and then click the check mark. Okay, I left this little section over here just to show an example when you have a road that's coming into the roundabout that is not a median road and you don't want it to be a median road. We have to make that smooth transition from a non-median road to a median road. Begin by going to no controller and turn off marking so we don't have crosswalks. Then open intersection marking tool, hold alt and create a filler from the center line of the non-median road to the median of the median road. For this filler, you can select line, chevrons or whatever you'd like. But I'm going to select grass to match the theme that I have going on so far. So one thing that all my grass fillers are missing right now is curbs. The roundabout is already looking much better than what it did. But without curbs, the grass looks just a little bit bare and out of place. To create curbs, I'm going to use a network from the workshop called Concrete Retaining Wall. If there is any item from the workshop that you're debating on getting, this has to be at the top of your list. It is extremely versatile for making walls behind houses, creating concrete walls for your overpasses, helping in situations where the terrain just isn't working with you, to making awesome curbs. And that's exactly what we're going to do today. Start by making a four-sided shape that surrounds your medians and the grass fillers that you made earlier. With Move It, the third mod that we're going to use today, select the corners and put them so they are right above the ends of your fillers and median. Try to get as precise as you can. It's going to make it look better. Then, with Node Controller, you're going to add two new nodes and the retaining wall where the grass filler meets the median. If you're having trouble selecting the wall over the road below it, use move it. Pull the wall out of the way and curate your new node with the node controller. Next, move your new nodes into place. And by selecting the segments of the walls, bend them to match the shape of the grass filler. After that, Go to each end node, make any corrections that you need, and lower it down into the ground using page down on your keyboard until the wall is just coming out of the ground. Select all the other corners of the retaining wall with move it. You can do this by holding down shift and highlighting them. 
just make sure that you're selecting the nodes of the retaining wall and not the road that's right below it. If you accidentally select the road, just continue to hold shift and go click on that node on the road and it will unselect from it. Now back on move it, go ahead and select match to object height or on your keyboard hit control H. Then you're going to select that first corner that you did and it is going to adjust all the other corners to match that same height. If you're having trouble selecting the node like I am, what you can do is uncheck segments and move it and this should make it possible. Take your time and do some final adjustments to make it look great. Trust me, by getting all of the retaining walls into the right places, it's going to make the end product look that much better. Alright, so you don't have to use those retaining walls on the meeting because they already have curbs. However, if you want those curbs to match, uh, you want to go ahead and do that as well. Just make sure to line the corners up uh, the best you can with the median. And now the rest is pretty easy. Just copy and paste it by using move it to select each node. And hit copy. You're going to paste it on all the other grass fillers. If you right click twice, it will turn the retaining wall 90 degrees. Now for that great final result, go back over each one, just making sure that all the walls are in the right places and it's on top of that grass. At this point, I would say that you now have a pretty realistic roundabout, but with not very much detail. Detailing is 100% up to the creator. Everything that I do from this point on is entirely up to you. I would recommend looking on Google Earth or images for roundabouts and try to get some inspiration that way. For this build, I'm going to go with an inner island using those retaining walls that we used from earlier again. What I'm basically doing here is recreating a smaller circle utilizing the retaining walls, just like I created the original roundabout. The second asset that I use from the workshop is mulch to get that realistic look. If you don't like mulch or you don't want mulch, you can go with rocks or concrete. There's plenty of decals in the vanilla game that you could use that would also look great here. Another option is to use a small park or plaza like this one. You can adjust it with move it to make it look better. For this build, I'm going to go with the vanilla statue of the guy on the horse. Try to center it the best that you can. Use trees, rocks, and bushes from the game to decorate it however you want. Just be creative. If you'd like, you can put trees and props in those grass fillers that we created earlier. Create another curb separating your grass from the pavement. Remember to use move it to get the nodes in the correct places and elevations. Now that the roundabout is all nice and pretty, we still have to make it functional. Using node controller, we are going to add nodes in our roundabout. Click in the middle between each section of the roundabout. Try to get it as centered as you possibly can. If this creates a crosswalk for you, don't worry about it. Click where it says crosswalk and change it to middle. The reason that we did this was to create a node to give our traffic a place for them to change lanes. Now onto our last mod, T3. 
TMPE or Traffic Manager President Edition. Open the interface by clicking on the traffic light icon. Click on the little circle from the lane that's going into the roundabout. Connect it to the outermost lane of the roundabout. Keep the innermost lanes connected. Now take the outermost lane and connect it to the lane that is leaving the roundabout. Next, we have to go to that node that we created earlier. We have to give a place for traffic to switch lanes so they can either exit or stay onto the roundabout. Make sure to give the option for both lanes to go either way. Now, just repeat this for every node in the roundabout. The next tool that we're going to use in TMPE is called Junction Restrictions. What this does is gives you the ability to turn off all of the crosswalks and make sure that the traffic flows without stopping. Even though we got rid of all the markings for the crosswalks in the roundabout, the game still thinks they're there. So this allows us to make sure that they're turned off and no one will be crossing into the middle of the roundabout. By selecting this green icon, it is ensuring that traffic keeps flowing and doesn't stop. The last tool that we're going to use is priority signs. This allows us to give a yield sign or a give way sign to the vehicle that is entering into the roundabout. Just make sure that the lane entering the roundabout has a give way sign and the two lanes that are going around the roundabout have an orange diamond. Once you complete this step, your roundabout is complete. All right, if you are able to download a few more things from the Steam Workshop, I'm going to make a few more suggestions for you. Go and grab the mod Bob. What Bob does is allows you to click on any building, or in this case, a road, and change things about it. You can remove things. You can add things. Really, it's very versatile. In this case, we're going to change the lights on this road. In the left panel, find the lights that you currently are using. Then on the right panel, search light and scroll through whatever light that you might have downloaded. Find it, click on it, and don't forget to hit the check mark. And there you go, your roundabout now has new lights. The next suggestion that I will give is to add the correct signage for whatever country or area that you're building in. In this case, this is an American roundabout, so I'm going to use an American yield sign. You can also add signs to the crosswalks. I really do appreciate you watching. And if there is something else that you want to learn how to build, leave it in the comment section. And I can probably do another tutorial video. See you next time.